Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sam here and today is Friday, June 19th, 2020. I'm going to be showing you guys the best things to buy, sell, and maybe even invest in right now in NBA 2K20. And I also have some new Stein filters you guys should start using. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video for those. So as always, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at any of the new content we got in NBA 2K20 today. And then we'll move on over to Twitter, see if we got any new, you know, news, leak content, and then locker codes if there's any of those as well. So we'll go ahead, start with the new packs that we got today. It's Friday. Obviously, we got some new packs. And today, we got the out of position two packs. And if I'm going to be honest, if you guys do watch my streams, I... I said this a lot, but this these type of promos or the opposition promo is probably my least favorite, but we did get some fire cards today with two of these cards I'm actually super interested in, with the first one being point guard, shooting guard, Kevin Durant, which this one's not too crazy. Point guard, shooting guard, not that weird. We got Andre Karolinko who can play center power forward. We got Galaxy with Bill Russell. This card I definitely want to try out. We got Pink Down and Giannis, so another Giannis Antetokounmpo. This one can play shooting guard center. And then we got Pink Down Bill Walton, who can play point guard, which is just kind of goofy. Uh, Dwayne Wade, another one, power forward, small forward. And then Sean Livingston, that can play center, power forward. So definitely some unique cards that we got today. Just, just goofy. Obviously, it's out of position too, so it's going to be goofy. But yeah, and these are available for a whole week, so these will be available until next Friday when we get some more new content. And then the only other packs that are available are these throwback moments packs that are available until Monday. So we should be seeing some new uh, throwback moments on Monday. So other than that, those are the only packs available. So we don't have, you know, we have some some uh, cards to work with here for some potential side filters. But before we get into the filters, we'll go ahead and just cover any other content we don't have, or we do have some new cards, some other new cards that are added to the game. They aren't added in the Triple Threat Online event yet, which is where I think the new cards are going to be. I'm going to go ahead, switch over here, show you the new cards. If for some reason you don't know, uh, we have these six reward cards, uh, Galaxy Global Rick Barry, Galaxy Global Del Curry, Galaxy Global Doc Rivers, and then Amethyst John Barry, and then Austin Rivers Diamond and Larry Nance Diamond. And if you don't get the theme here, it is Father's Day this weekend. So that's kind of the theme here. All these guys are sons or they are dads that were in the NBA. And I also almost forgot this new set locks in for Galaxy Global Jonathan Isaac. I forgot to mention that. But yeah, those are all, that's all the new content we got today. I don't know how we're going to be able to get these reward cards. I assume Triple Throw Online, but they haven't been added yet, but I am recording this at about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I'm sure they'll add it here within the next couple hours. And then we'll go ahead, switch to Twitter, and today on Twitter, uh, there's nothing new other than yesterday's locker code, which, I don't know, I think we're beginning a locker code, but it's just not out yet. I tried to wait till about the top of the hour, and we still didn't get a locker code, so I would be on lookout for a locker code today, and let's go ahead now and move into the market update. So moving on now to the market update, let's go ahead and see if prices are high or low today and whether or not you should be buying or selling. And I already did a little bit of looking like I usually do before I record this. And the market, it's not, it's definitely not crashed, guys. It's not crashed at all. I mean, prices are, some of the prices are lower um, just with the new cards being out. Some cards are just going to get replaced uh, with the new cards, so they're a little bit lower. And there's some good deals to be had, but it's definitely not the worst day to sell, and it's definitely not the best day in the world to buy. So to be honest, if you want to go buy a card for the weekend, go buy a card. If you want to sell your cards today, you could. But I would say if you want to try to maximize the most empty you can make, typically on the weekends, prices are a little bit higher. So maybe wait until tomorrow or Sunday to sell your cards. Uh, that's just what I would do personally. But we'll go ahead. I just want to look at a couple cards that were actually affected today or you would think might be affected. And the first one here is Kevin Durant with a new one coming out. Uh, Katie's price is, I, I think it's about the same as it was before this uh, acquisition Katie came out. Maybe a little bit cheaper, but again, this Katie is still really good. And this one can actually play small forward. So, I mean, this Katie, it might be a good day for you to try to snipe a Katie or maybe just go get a good deal on one. There's probably, we can go ahead and look. There might be an influx of them on the market when people saw KD coming out, maybe a bunch of people posted theirs all at the same time. Like, look at this. It does it does kind of look like that. I mean, uh, you can see three hours, all these are ending at the same time. So it wouldn't be a terrible time to try to get a good bid snipe on one of these KDs if you're trying to get a KD. And then uh, the same thing with um, the new cards. It wouldn't be a bad time to bid on cards. I will say this. Uh, if you want to get any of these new cards, guys, I do say do see this AK-47 going to buy out, so I wouldn't rush to buy him. Giannis, I see a lot of people overpaying for him as well. So all these cards, except for KD and Bill Russell, even Bill Russell, I did see a lot of them pulled, so maybe he would end up you know, getting cheaper too. But the two cards I would probably look to target if you want to buy and complete this set today or just get any of them would be Kevin Durant and Bill Russell. And 
in the first wave or first batch of them ending here, that's when I would go try to bid snipe these cards. Maybe even AK too, but I like I said, AK, Giannis, Bull, Walton, Dwayne Wayne, Sean Livingston, all these guys are going to be buyouts in my opinion, or they are buyouts already, and they're only going to go down in price. So yeah, try to snipe those if you can, and don't overpay for those guys, and focus on bid sniping Katie and Bill Russell here in about... As of me making this video, about 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's when those cards are going to end. So go bit snipe them around that time in the hour or an hour and a half after. But all right, enough of the market talk and updates. Let's go ahead and get into the snipe filters for the day. And I do have a couple here. And I will say, I don't know, they're, they're decent. They're going to be good because cards are going to be popping up left and right. These packs aren't, they are not guaranteed. But I have seen a lot of these cards going for cheap already, and people will throw a lot of these cards away. So we do have a couple good filters here. And the first one we're going to start with is the Pink Diamond out of position two. Unfortunately, I mean, it makes sense. It's a whole different promo. You can't target both. But out of position two, Pink Diamond. And then last I looked, you want to set this to about 8,000. Now, I will say, I say this all the time when I recommend these filters, go look at the lowest prices before you uh, just copy my vid copy these uh these filters you see in the video, make sure you take into account taxes because there's the 10% tax. Last I looked, Bill Walton was 9,000 and already he's dropped to 82.50. That is kind of low. Let's just say he's about, just for the sake of the video, let's say he's about, uh, let's just say 8,000, okay? Obviously, he's not quite 8,000, but just for the sake of the video and for simple math, 8,000, we're going to take an 800 empty hit. So you want to buy this card at at least 7,200 to break even. So just for the sake of the video, let's say his lowest price, he's going for 8K. You want to set it to 7,200 and put the maximum bid above and just refresh. And you can get Bill Walton and hopefully the Giannis because the Giannis goes for a lot more than Bill Walton. And this would be a pretty good filter, pretty consistent because a lot of people are pulling these. And just again, make sure you take into account taxes and look at the lowest prices when you go to set up this filter. But let's go ahead, move on to the next one here. And I just... I don't know. It's kind of tough. You can target all the Galaxy Opals right now as me making this video. You can do Galaxy Opal uh, out of position two, but I am thinking kind of long run right here. By the time you guys watch this or, you know, if it's later in the evening when you're watching this, I do see the AK-47 being a buyout. And uh, I don't know. I, I think this filter might not be the best, but as of right now, you could use just the Galaxy Opal out of position two and just buy anything that pops up. But assuming that AK goes to buyout eventually. I do have some more filters here, and it would do. I would do Galaxy Opal, Durant, and just type in Kevin Durant, and you can target the new Durant card, or you can target the older one and just sit here refresh. And you can you can change the amount, or you can just spam refresh. I've been experimenting with both, and I don't know. I don't know which one I prefer. Sometimes it's easier to not change it. I mean, it's definitely easier, but some other times you do want to change it because it does feel a little bit delayed. But those are the first two Opal filters. You know what? I'll be nice. I'll throw in one more. This one right here, I think this one low-key might be the best sleeper one that I haven't seen people talk about or use yet. I'm sure someone's using it, but Galaxy Opal, Celtics, and then go to small forward. And you're like, well, what? what's in the small forward? Well, it's out of position. So we have Jason Tatum, which is a great card to try to snipe. But on top of that, we have Bill Russell because... Bill Russell's a small forward in 2K20. So yeah, this filter is probably going to last a lot longer than the Galaxy Opal. Then the Galaxy Opal just out of position two. And I was using this for a little bit. I didn't see anything, but this would definitely be a good filter for uh, getting a Bill Russell if that's what you want. I think I might be using one using this filter myself after this video because I do kind of want to get some Bill Russell gameplay. But uh, yeah, this would be good for sniping that Bill Russell and the Jason Tatum. So those are all the Opal filters I have for you guys today. Um, there is just a couple more filters I want to throw in here that uh, are just good for any any days for sniping. I mean, I don't know. I tried my best here to find some good filters, but just with just the way uh, these cards are and stuff, I don't know. And it's getting harder with all the cards in the game. There's just not too many filters um, to use today. And other than these final two here that are good just on any day, especially on content days. So the first one here, you guys see it all the time. I talk about it in streams. And I talk about it. I talk about it uh, in these market update videos is the pink diamond minimum filter. Now we see the cheapest pink diamond is 4450. So let's just say for the sake of the video, it's four. Yeah, it's 4450. So what you want to do is go down here, obviously set the maximum bid to take into account taxes and you want to buy any pink diamond that pops up. And you'll be seeing a lot of pink diamonds just because it's a content day. People are quick selling stuff, not quick selling. You know, throwing away stuff for cheap to try to get MT, and people will be throwing away Bill Walton 
and potentially Giannis Antetokounmpo just because they didn't pull a Galaxy Opal or they just are too lazy to look up the prices. So we have the pink diamond minimum and then of course we have the diamond minimum as well. As you can tell here, I did not look up the prices like I usually do before uh, recording this, but let's see the cheapest diamond. The diamond minimum is definitely getting tougher with just so many, you know, the power creep is real and there's so many good, you know, not so many, but there's just so many diamonds that are out there. And it's all the way down to about 1500 it looks like, these days. Okay, never mind. That's low-key a snipe right there, that Muggsy Bogues. But I'm not going to buy it just because I know uh, the not, the demand for Muggsy Bogues isn't really there. So it's looking like the cards are going for about 1700 So to take into account that, let's just do, let's go down to about 1500 here. And you just want to sit here and refresh and buy anything that pops up. Now... Again, it's not the best one in the world. I'd probably use the pink diamond over the diamond, but uh, it's it's still an enable filter, or not enable filter, it's still a minimum filter. And if you want to get really uh, cheap with it in budgety, you can just do the 500 filter as well, which again, I didn't look up the prices here. It's looking like 600 is the lowest. Yeah, 600. So let's just go ahead, set this to, actually no, it looks like 650. Let's just do, let's just do 550 for the sake of the video. And you can just sit here, refresh, and buy anything that pops up. So those are some, you know, bottom feeder throwaway filters right there that with almost any amount of, like legit, with any amount of MT, you can, like anyone can use this filter and you can see any cards in the game using that filter right there. But all right, guys, that's going to do it for today's market update. If you learned anything new or enjoyed the video, please, please, please hit the like button below and feel free to leave a comment. Both those things really help grow the channel and help out the YouTube algorithm for me. And also, if you're new, consider subscribing as we make these market update videos multiple times per week and we live stream here on YouTube every single day. But as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.